the idea of collaborating on various projects, one of the things we work on is photo books. And I think they're such a huge component of my life now mm -hmm. and what I do. And I couldn't do it without other people. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's one of the things when you started, you go, okay, I'm going to do it all myself. And you lay it out and you design it. And you're like, that just took me nine years. Yeah. Whereas now I can, I, I get to collaborate with you. I get to hand everything over, fully trust you to be able to do something. And then you send it back to me and we work together and make this thing yeah. happen. And then as we, we rope in more people, it gets better and better. Um, I think what I want to get out there to the rest of the creative world is you need to start communicating with other creatives. Yeah. Photographers, don't hang out with other photographers. Go meet some designers. Go meet some illustrators. Go meet people that do different stuff than you do. So then when you guys come together, you actually have different skill sets. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really important to, like, to sort of branch out. And I, yeah, I don't yeah. hang out with photographers, and it's, I, I feel like I'm like a weird person. I actually noticed that I, I didn't hang out with graphic designers, and I've now got, uh, I'm working on a collaborative project with some graphic designers that I met uh, online, and we're working on something together. And it's the first time I've worked with other graphic designers in such high intensity, and I love it. But there also, there's a lot of space between us. Um, but I found that it, it, they were kind of like a good, uh, you know, when you need to sort of complain about something that yes. no one else would, you should never <laughs> tell anyone. Like, I'm not even going to say what I would complain about. It's so fundamentally boring. Um, but you can just go, oh, tight faces, you know, um, and they'll just. There's not many people you can say that to and get a good response. Yeah, and they'll just go, oh, yeah, Helvetica. Oh. And then you, you know, and I only need it for like two minutes a month, right? And, uh, you know, to, to unburden about something stupid. Um, but it affects my everyday. And so, yeah, so it, it's important. But your point about spending quality time with other creatives, yeah, it helps. It helps with your work, helps you meet people, um, uh, helps change, changes your approach to how you might work. Because, um, I mean, I'm always telling photographers, I'm like, you just don't have enough space around a photograph for me to put text. Um, yeah, but that wasn't the frame, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you just you can really learn a lot from each other. Well, that was actually when, when I started delivering for clients, that was actually one of the big tickets for me. It was, okay, I could deliver a photograph. Great. But now we're going 9 by 16, 16 by 9. We're going yeah. headers on websites. We're now yeah. going like side ads. We're now doing all yeah. of these things. And you go, I need to think laterally on yeah. how to deliver what I deliver. So when I deliver something to a client, I am over-delivering beyond belief they're like why have you given me so many photos and i'm like you'll need because them. i have shot for every eventuality that you might need that exact same frame yeah but you don't don't have it in a portrait and you don't have what you need in a portrait in a horizontal image so you go okay well we're, we're not glad we have to sift through it now but i go in two years you're going to be stoked you have that yeah but i wouldn't have known that unless i was working with graphic designers and web developers yeah. And you go, that's where we as photographers can grow if you build your network. And that goes for every area of any industry. Yeah. 